Hi everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to make HTTP request in Flutter. So we are going to fetch some results from a REST API. And the API we are going to use is the JSON placeholder type code. So you can see I already have some boilerplate here. In the body of my scaffold, with a centered container and a text HTTP request. Right now, what I want to do is I want to remove this centered widget and replace it with the future builder. So future. So this future builder takes some properties. One is a future and builder. For a builder, we're gonna take a build context. I'm gonna call it context. And then an asynchronous snapshot. I'm going to call it snapshot. In my builder, I want to return list view builder. Okay, so for my item count, I'm going to go back up here and create a list. I call it snap data. This is gonna be equal to the snapshot. Just data. And then down here for my item count, I'm gonna make it snap data dot length. So this will handle the length of the item that will be retained from the REST API. Then the list view builder takes an item builder. This takes a context and then an index. In here, I'm going to return a list tab. My list tab is going to have a title, a text. Top title, also a text body. Okay, so back to this feature, I'm gonna go up and create a method for it. So I'm gonna say future a list of strings. I'm going to call it get data and it's going to be asynchronous because I'm going to wait for some transaction to complete. I'm going to mark it as asynchronous. Okay, so before we proceed, in order to be able to make HTTP request in Flutter, you need to have this HTTP package in your Flutter app. So I'm going to head over to pub. So in my browser here, I want to go to pub.datlang.org. You can see I have this HTTP package here. In case you don't find it, you can just go ahead and search for it in the search bar. So since we have it, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to head over to the install and copy this. And then open my passport YAML here. I'm going to put this at a dependencies portion and then run flutter packages get in case your doesn't start automatically okay so packages get is finished back here i'm gonna go up and import the package i just added I'm also going to go ahead and import the dot async and the dot convert. Okay, so these two packages will help me decode the JSON data that will be returned on the REST API. 
and then this will be my HTTP package for making the request. Okay, so back down into our method, we're gonna create a variable called the URL. And it's gonna be equal to the URL where we want to fetch the data from. So let me go back to my browser and then type JSON placeholder. Okay, so I have this here. Look for the link that says JSON placeholder type code.com and go to the link. Okay, so down here, I want to go to the host. Okay, I know. So just to get a fair idea of what the data is about, this a list. It opens here and then closes here. And then in this list, we also have this one set of item that's at the zeroth index. This another set of item at the first index. And this also another set of item at the second index. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL and then paste it here. Now, what I want to do next is to create a variable. I'm going to call it rest. I'm going to say http.get. Okay, so I have a problem here. I have to go up here and then import my HTTP package as HTTP. Okay, so back here I can say http.get and then it takes a URL and then an optional headers. For the URL, I'm going to say URI dot encode full and then I'm going to put my URL here. And for the optional headers, we're going to be receiving JSON data. So I'm going to say accept application slash JSON. We have to await for this to complete. And then when this is done, we want to create another variable response body. I'm going to say JSON dot code res dot body. And then I just want to print the data that will be returned. I'm going to say response body, the first item, and I want to take the title. Okay, so this, so this is the zeroth item, and this will be the title that I want to return. This will be the body. And then down, I want to return. Okay, so for the return statement, since this is going to be a list of type dynamic, I'm going to go ahead and remove this altogether and return my response body. I'm going to copy this, go down here where my future property is and replace it with this method. Okay, so now you can see we have this error the getter length was called on now. That's because this snapshot and the data here, which we are calling snapshot data, we are calling length on it. So this method does not complete synchronously. It takes some time to complete. But then this method here just gets triggered without waiting for that method to finish. So right now, what we can do is before we return this list view builder, I want to check a few more things. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable called connection state and call it con 
snapshots but the connection states so instead of just returning this list view i want to check if con because connection state waiting i'm not returning a circular progress indicator So that this indicator will be displaying whilst the data is being fetched from the REST API. So what if we have an error? For that, I'm going to say if snapshot dot has error, then I just want to return a centered widget with a child text. snapshot.error okay so i'm going to put this circular indicator also in a center widget so it will appear in the middle of the screen okay so i'm going to run this so you can see i have this circular indicator here Okay, so I turned off my Wi-Fi network and then it couldn't connect to the REST API endpoint. So you can see it return an error, this blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back and connect my network. I'm performing a hot reload and this loading. And then now you can see I have this data once there's connection. So if there is no connection, it will be this widget that will be returned, this centered widget. If you are waiting for data, this will be the widget that will be returned. Okay, so back here in my head, what I want to do is, instead of just returning this text widget, which is same for all of them, I want to take the data from my API here. It will be put here, remember. So I'm gonna say, snapshot dot data and uh, remember our data is a list of items and this is the zero the first and then this is the second and goes all the way down and you know our list view this index changes so i'm going to take at every index and then for the head we'll be interested in title And I'm gonna copy the same thing for the body. For the body, we'll be interested in body. Okay, so it's loading again. And then we have this data here with a list of items all the way up to 100. Yeah. Okay, we've successfully been able to fetch this data from this API. In the video that follow, we will connect our Flutter app to a PHP MySQL server. And then we'll be using the HTTP GET as well as the HTTP POST method. So we'll be fetching data from the database will be inserting will be deleting and we'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff so stay tuned feel free to like and subscribe to my channel